All right, gentlemen, take your seats. Let's get this over before lunch. Clyde Rose of the Homicide Squad has decided to take early retirement. We will all miss Floyd and the steely edge he brought to his police work. The department has arranged a wee drink at the Galway Arms to quench the mighty thirst a man gets from 25 years of police work. Floyd's departure leaves a place at the top table, and the chief has seen fit to promote Cole Phelps from burglary to the homicide desk. Stand up, Phelps. Take a chair. You're in the major leagues now, Sonny. Rusty Galloway, a fine lawman of the old school, will be taking you under his wing. Your first case is the murder of a woman, found last night and bearing all the signs of the werewolf. Get out to the scene, lads. Did your parents ever ask you to run away from home? Do you have the address? It's been all over KGPL. It's off Temple Street, between Belmont and Glendale. I'm gonna get good and tight come Friday. Nice day for it. The bum took a swipe and put him down on my staff. Parker wants the chief's job. Word is that they're going to be him with that. And they're both clearing the decks. So where does that leave you, Galloway? Please me saddled with a chump like you, Phelps. I didn't ask for you, and I don't want you, so keep it to yourself. See if you can learn something about seeing how a real cop is. What did he mean by the werewolf? The Galloway. The Daily News came out calling him the werewolf killer. The examiner came up with the black Dahlia. Are we any closer to catching him? Not a chance. Six months and hundreds of guys running down leads and we got nothing. You don't think this has anything to do with it? No, I don't. Ninety percent of murders are domestic folks. Some guy gets into a beef with his wife, he takes it too far. It's will be the same. But cutting someone in half and leaving them off the sidewalk, it's a one-off. Why so many women this year? Because of the war. You should know that. Guy gets to kill people every day in combat. Comes home, he's expected to take lift from his wife. What do you think's gonna happen? It's that simple. Like I said, most of the time it is. for the examiner, Galloway. You could use some good press. Another tramp, another message. Is the werewolf back in business, boys? Do you have a mother, asshole? A sister? How about showing some respect for this poor woman? Let us do our job, and Detective Galloway will give you a statement later. He's good, Rusty. He even sounds genuine. That's Phelps, guys. The war hero. Defending the honor of murdered humps. You're used to it, Phelps. Move it along, guys. You got your pictures, you got your headlines. Now scram. Patrolman, this your beat? Yes, sir. Well, part of it. Kids park here, they use it like a lover's lane. It's a working neighborhood. Some trouble, but nothing like this. It's uh, known locally as the Moors. You were first on the scene? Yes, detective. No one's disturbed the body? No, sir. We cleared out them vulture reporters so Pinker and the coroner could work. They're waiting to talk to you. Go house to house and see what you come up with. Brothers, Phelps, you make homicide? Looks like it. Galloway has been making me feel welcome. I bet he has. Has the scene been secured? Patrolman Houlihan saw to it. 
The victim's personal effects are still where they fell. Cause of death? It could be the head injuries. She has been badly stomped. What caused the blunt force injury to the face? Could be anything from a baseball bat to a lug wrench. I'll have more details after the autopsy. Hmm. Interesting. What about this wound on the finger? Something removed, a ring most likely. I assume it was taken post-mortem. What does the writing on the victim mean? BD, like Dahlia, Tex, your guess is as good as mine. Could be something to it, or it could be the killers trying to throw you off the scent. Either way, I'll run tests on the lipstick. Any idea of the time of death? From the temperature, I'd say after midnight. I'll confirm with you later. Looks like some kind of puzzle or parlor game. Bomba Club? Why steal a table lighter? Can't be the one used on the body. Another day, another job. What can you tell me about the shoe prints? Men's size eights. Tinker lifted impressions for me to compare back at the lab. When we get to the bomba, the man could die of thirst in a case like this. Siren felt this some form of stealth attack. Keep on going through here. The werewolf, for my money, copycat. We can't rule it out. We need to work the evidence. You'd love that, wouldn't you? Big head to hang on your wall. Caller of the decade. Been working evidence on BD case for six months and got next. There's a difference, Rusty. Oh, yeah? I just started working it today. Okay, odd shot. What's more likely? 
werewolf comes back around, then he gets a note in the courts. He clearly has a thing for power. Power over women. Why not power over the police department as well? Let me finish, fellas. A guy opens his mouth again after six months of stooping. Some opportunists who've been reading about the BD figures will rip off the MO and get himself a free. That's not totally fantastic. You know, the examiner of the Daily News might be good at coming up with monikers that are terrible for the police. There's a reason we didn't get the son of a bitch after the short murder was them, locusts. Where do you think the werewolf killer is now? Uh, dead by his own hand, stationed somewhere else with armed forces. San Quentin, another town, another country, who knows? So Phelps, I understand you want to turn this into a big case, but it doesn't work like that, all right? A case will come and find you. You can't make it something it ain't, understand? So you don't think the world has continued to operate in the Los Angeles area? Sorry, no chance. Sixth Street and Lindley Place. Sixth Street, Lindley Place. Unit to handle code three, identify. Go right. Gentlemen, what can I get you? Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Were you working here last night? Yes. How can I help, officer? You can start with your name. Garrett Mason. You're the regular bartender on nights? I'm a temporary barman. I work for an agency. I fill in at bars across town. Do you remember a woman who came in here last night? Uh, five feet seven, about 110 pounds, blonde hair, about 40 years of age. You mean Celine Henry? Yes. Do you know anything about her? I don't. But the owner, Mr. McCall, serves her most nights. Would you like to speak to him? I would. He sits at the back of the club. Where's the hibiscus? You can't miss it. Is there anything else? Where Fire away, Phelps. Phelps. I'll stay here. I'm a little part. Pour me three fingers of rye. Hey, honey, what time did you get off wooden table? Detective Phelps, LAPD. We're investigating the murder of Celine Henry. Do you know her? Celine? Oh, Christ. You sure, I know her. She and I and Jacob, her husband, we go way back. She was here last night? In the house office. Sure, she's a regular. Yeah, Celine is. Sure. Pour me another. Was a lovely woman. Was Mrs. Henry here with anyone last night? Not at first. Celine already had quite a head start. But she attracted attention? Certainly. A few gentlemen became very enamored with her and her stories. One guy in particular. You know him? No. He's been in a couple of times. Did they leave together? Yes. At around 11. If it helps, I made the guy's license plate. Sam has taken me to Palm Springs for the weekend. I think this could be a great help, sir. Thank you. Mrs. Henry appeared to be missing a ring, torn from her finger, but not her wedding finger. Celine always wore a red garnet ring on the large side, larger than life, like Celine herself. Did she have it a long time? Sure. Since way back in her flying days. Did her husband buy it for her? No, it was, uh, it was before Jacob. I think you know where the ring came from, and I think you're going to tell me. OK. I bought it years ago. I carried a torch for Celine in those days. 
Yes, I always have. Our old man never knew about it. You know the husband? Sure I know Jacob. He was in the Corps. He met Celine on a furlough and married her when the war was finished. He put up with a load of shit. Do you think he killed his wife? No. No, not in my opinion. So if it wasn't Jacob, then you probably let her out of here with the guy who killed her. How do you feel about that? Stole the attitude, will you? I tried to get on to Jacob. I rang him up, asked him to come pick her up like usual. But he refused. And she picked some night to push him over the edge. I rang him back around 11.30, but got no answer. Thanks, Mr. McColl. You've been a big help. One more thing. Would you have an address for Celine? 142 North Union Avenue. God knows I had to send her home in enough cabs to remember that. Say, honey, what time did you get off the living table? Where's that goddamn place? Let's get out of here. Hey, what's the hurry? My stool was just starting to warm up nicely. Operator, give me R&I. Putting you through now. Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, detective? I need a registered owner on a license plate, 2-boy-8899. Yes, detective. I'll need to contact the DMV. Shall I relay the details via KGPL? Please. Thank you. So, uh, how'd you turn this down? You find the booze helps you get through a working day? Sharp is my investigatory instincts. A smart lawyer might use that to throw out anything you collect today. A smart man might know it's unwise to stand between the patient and his medicine. As long as you're not falling over, Rusty, I'll let it slide. <laughs> That's mighty kind of it, Phelps. You know, you picked the wrong job with a healthy thirst of vengeance. We owe it to this city to do the best we can in this position. As homicide detectives, that responsibility is all the more serious. Always the politician. It's not political, it's practical. Maybe the men combing Hollywood Boulevard after the Elizabeth Short murder were more interested in sniffing out booze than the clues that would have led to her killer. Yeah, well, if only you'd been there, choir boy. Betty Short be alive, chaps would have spared Pearl Harbor. Our ancestors wouldn't have tasted the forbidden fruit. Minor syntactical error, Detective Galloway. I never claimed to be able to prevent crimes. I only suggested a proficiency in solving them. Guess that's the drink slowing you down. Oh my god, brother, oh brother. Worse than I could ever have imagined. KGB on 20 Century and a, a citizen reports a man with a gun on Grand between 4th and 5th. Any Century and identify. Take the next right. Take the next right. Straight on. Stay on this road. Up ahead, you turn left.
I'll try the back door. Wait here a second. Side window's been jimmied. Looks like somebody's creeped the joint. You said I had to go back, Doctor. The fires are cathartic. They allow you to confront your past. You said the house would be empty. Are you taking the medication I have prescribed? You said the house would be empty. I heard them screaming. Circumstances were unfortunate. My colleagues had made all the necessary arrangements. You said the house would be empty. You're killing me! The deaths were unfortunate. But you have dealt with death before. I want you to come to the clinic and we can deal you with You said the house would be empty! How can I find peace? Jacob are obviously having problems. It speaks to motive. Crime scene evidence still weighs against it being the husband. But Jacob could give us something to go on. If one of my exes drank like this, he'd be feeling the back of my hand. Call in burglary and get technical services out here. I'll talk to the neighbors. Don't take all day about it, Phelps. I'll get nasty when I'm thirsty. Galloway, homicide, badge number 564. Requesting technical services for a suspected 459 at 142 North Union. Tiffany, the rest of the stuff is junk. Might explain the missing ring. Regular Amelia Earhart per day. The ring looks distinctive. Don't think this is anything. Burglar used the pry bar. Why did you kick the door in? You think I'm gonna climb through a broken window in a $30 suit? You got another thing coming, Buster. around here anymore. LAPD, are you acquainted with Celine Henry, Miss... Horgan! Jennifer Horgan! I've known Celine for more than ten years. Our children grew up together. What's going on, officer? Did you see Mrs. Henry go out last night? Well, I'm no busybody, you understand, but... Celine had been drinking, and she and poor, long-suffering Jacob had a terrible row. I think Jacob may have given her a black eye. He stormed out and she went back inside. 
Did he come back? No. Celine was listening to music and shouting until she left around 10 p.m. She was very drunk to have been driving. But she is not the sort of person you can stop from doing something when her dander is up. What is this about, officer? Is Celine all right? I'm afraid Mrs. Henry has been murdered, ma'am. Murdered? Oh, my God. I'm afraid I need to go and, and sit down. Let's see what Jacob has to say for himself. I don't think Jacob is our man, but we should see what he has to say. I need you to take a left at the next corner. Jacob Henry had a violent argument with his wife last night. He's looking more and more likely. Uh, for my money, the broad keeps the house looking like that, and he probably deserved it. The skipper says bring him in. Keep the hats on the back. Fine by me. So it ain't the werewolf killer after all. You can see you come to your senses. I always said work the evidence. I only stipulated a connection to the BD killer as an avenue of investigation we should leave open. And as far as I'm concerned, it still is. So wait for the next turning and go right. Follow my lead. You Jacob Henry? Yeah. Who's asking? LAPD. You're under arrest for the murder of your wife, Celine Henry. Murder? Celine? Save the dramatic. Oh, oh my RKL, God! Pal, you got bigger problems. What the hell are you talking about? You come in here, you tell me that Celine is... Take a seat, Mr. Henry. She's... We're going to have a look around, uh, then we'll talk. Jesus, I'm sorry. Uh, uh... I get even the slightest hint of your slightest. This problem there is. What to do about the old lady? You think the atmosphere is thick in here? Wait till you try the gas chamber. So who could have killed Celine? Where did she go last night, Jacob? A bar, I suppose. Look, I don't know. You know where she went, Jacob. You're lying. Why would I help you if you keep lying to me? Look, I'm telling you, I don't know. We know she went to the Bomber Club. The bartender there, he, he calls me if things are getting out of hand, and I go, and I bring her home. He called me last night. I said no. Phone rang a couple more times after that. I ignored it. I'm going to have to live with that. 
When did you last see your wife, Mr. Henry? Last night. I went to see her. We talked. Things got a little out of hand. I left. You don't remember what time you last saw your wife alive? Look, I'm sorry. I left. Maybe 9 p.m. Might have been a little later, but right around 9. Why did you kill her, Jacob? Things will go better if you come clean about it. That's a lousy thing to say. I never gave up on my wife. I don't believe you, Jacob. I think you didn't have the guts to do it yourself, so you had someone else do it. You want to back that up with something, Big Mouth? Huh? The note by the phone suggests you meant her harm. You want the truth? Truth is, I was sick to death of her. I was trying to have her committed. We're still going to need you to come downtown, Mr. Henry. We can get this all down on paper, Jacob. How you got fed up with your wife and how you figured killing her would bury all your troubles. Kill my own wife? She was a lush and a tramp and you just couldn't stand it anymore. Shut your goddamn mouth! <laughs> so now you're going to tell me you loved her? Ah, the DA goes all gooey over remorse, Jacob. You're not being rational. <laughs> Call it in and get a squad car dispatched. And check for messages. Keep old slugger here, company. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, detective? I need a patrol unit to transport a suspect back to Central. Certainly, Detective. You have a message from the coroner. Do you wish to be put through? Yes, ma'am. Carruthers. It's Phelps. I've completed the autopsy. Several wounds to the head from a blunt metal instrument. Closest match would be a socket wrench handle. So the cause of death was the blunt... No, the blows to the head, surprisingly, were not fatal. Death was from hemorrhage and shock from the fractured ribs and multiple injuries caused by the stomping. Anything else? He's some kind of sex fiend. The tissues of the anus were bruised about one-eighth of an inch, but no trace of semen in the anus, vagina, or stomach. Thanks, Doc. Operator, give me R and I. Any word on an owner for that vehicle? License was 2Boy8899? Yes, Detective. The plate belongs to a brown 1936 Pontiac. Registered owner is one Alonzo Mendez of 402 South Fremont Street, apartment 16. Thanks. Any other messages? One, detective, from Captain Donnelly. He wants any and all suspects returned to Central. Interviews to be set up immediately. Got it. We're coming in. Brother said she took a real pounding. Maybe if he had been a little firmer in the beginning, he wouldn't be in this situation now. I imagine that Neanderthal routine is a big hit with the ladies, Galloway. Women love me, Phelps. I have no complexity. They know exactly what they're going to get. You don't need to turn. Straight ahead. It's left the next.
exact intersection. We have a firm lead, Captain. Are you questioning my judgment, Cole Phelps? No, sir. Good. I thought not. Jacob Henry is a sub sister pushed around by his wife. I think with the right kind of persuasion, he might be prepared to seek absolution. Are you prepared to show him the error of his ways, young Phelps? I don't think he's our man. Galloway agrees with me. Don't drag me into this. Rusty is a practical policeman. A bird in hand is always worth two in the bush. Let's liberate a confession from poor Jacob and the public will sleep easier tonight. Run along now, Phelps. I've warmed them up nicely for you. Need a drink. I got the jitters again. Doesn't look good, Jacob. You're in a big jam here. You lie to me and I can't help you out. Do you understand me? Yes. What do you do for work, Jacob? I'm a mechanic. Engines, differentials, transmissions, that kind of stuff. So you have access to tools? Yes, I do. Your wife was brutally beaten with a socket wrench handle, then stomped to death. How do you think that looks, Jacob? I, I was home in bed. You're full of shit, Jacob. The truth is you hated that bitch. You followed her and dragged her into the car and then took her out to the moors. She woke up, and you smashed her face in with a socket wrench. No. No, 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 no. And then you stomped no. her. No. You stomped her because she's a drunken whore, and she treated you like shit. You stomped her for all the years you had to take it. You stomped her because you are such a weak fucking sister, Jacob, and you wanted to erase all memory of it. Go on. Try to deny it. I was at home. I should have gone to her at the bar, but I didn't. You can't prove I wasn't home. I can. The bar owner, McCall, gave you up. He called your house right at the time that someone was smashing Celine's skull in and got no answer. If we find that socket wrench, you're gonna fry. Get it off your chest. Tell me you killed her. I killed her, all right. I killed her dreams. She was an aviator. Famous in her day, flying around up there like a bird. But she never wanted to come back down. You know, my pop was a sod farmer, dirt poor. I joined the Corps, trained to be a mechanic. I did better than my father did. I worked hard for it. That's all you can ask of a man. But Celine, she never wanted to come down from the clouds. She wanted everything I couldn't give her. All I had was security. That was never going to be enough. You did it. Everything points to you. What does Tex mean, Jacob? I, I don't know what you're talking about. I need a reason to believe you, Jacob. You want a confession? That's what you want? That's exactly what we want. Seems to me there are two types of marriages. First, where the couple love each other equally and everything's roses. And then there's the other. Or one person loves the other more than life itself and always puts them first. Chumps like me. Who love them no matter what, no matter how badly they behave. That's it. That's my confession. I love my wife. And I'll take any test you got to prove it. Your marriage was over. You took her in and she threw it back in your face. You didn't go over there to hurt her. It just got out of hand. It's not how it was. You're lying, Jacob. It was falling apart and things got violent. I'm not lying. I'm telling you how it was. Jenny Horgan says you blackened her eye. 
It's all right, Jacob. The DA will understand. In your shoes, I would have done exactly the same thing. I hit her. All right? I'm not proud of it, but she was coming at me with a frying pan. What would you do? I took it for years, but sometimes a man can only take so much. Why did you break into your wife's house, Jacob? Why steal the ring? What? What are you talking about? I've got a key. Why would I need to break in? You took the ring because you found out who gave it to her. What are you talking about? Her prized garnet ring, given to her by her old boyfriend, Dick McCall. I never knew that. I lived with that woman for three years, and I never knew that. In that case, I think you should be talking to Dick McCall. We'll do the detective work, Lunkhead. Just answer the questions. I'll see what I can do for you, Jacob. But I'm not promising. It still looks bad for you. Phelps! You failed me, son. We have another lead, Captain. This guy Mendez could be our man. I hope so, Phelps. I really hope so. I'm deeply disturbed by your style of police work. We can still pull down a conviction for the skipper if we chase down this Mendez guy. Now the court strips off me at the grand jury. We need to turn left at the next junction. Just ignore this turn. Okay, at the next corner, hang a right. Alonzo Mendez. Sound like a man who moonlights as the werewolf? Don't sound like a man I'd let my daughter in here. Up ahead, you turn left. You've got a daughter. If you've got enough time drinking, Cole, you'll find yourself with any number of them. So that's why you never sober up. Exactly. Mendez, apartment 16. Here, the apartment's up on the top floor. Don't bother knocking, just kick the door in. Take a look around and see what you can find. Gotta get this to Ray. Size eights could help place Mendez at the scene. Others could match the color and brand of the body. Consistent with Celine's injuries, and the blood can be typed. We have the murder weapon. We better get Pinker down here. Why keep it? Why not throw it away? You think these clowns are geniuses? Thank your stars you caught a break. Captain Donald would begin to like you. Hey! 
What gives? LAPD, you're under arrest. Do not lose that son of a bitch. I'll go get our wheels. Mendez, stop right there. idea. Get him next to my window, Cole. Keep me alongside his vehicle and I'll stop this son of a bitch. Hit him, Cole. Spit him out. I'll try to shoot out his tires. Wish me luck. Hit him. Clean this asshole off the road. You're under arrest for the murder of Celine Henry. Help! Get me out of here! I ain't saying a goddamn thing. You did a grand job, lads. Phelps. That's quite a way to acquit yourself in your first outing as a homicide investigator. It seems the city has a new and vengeful guardian. Considering the evidence against your suspect and the thoroughness with which a report was compiled, I foresee a safe passage through the courts, and the DA agrees with me. Brutality on a scale such as this deserves retribution. The people and the press of this city demand it.